around 25 of the aircraft will head to Guam and Tinian Islands later this month in what experts say is a powerful message to the communist nation. General Ken Wilsbach, Pacific Air Force's commander, told Military Today News, We have never had this many Raptors deployed together in the Pacific Air Force's area of operations. Experts fear China will blast the United States off the top spot to become the world's top economic and military power within the next decade. Defense analyst Carl Schuster said, The Pacific Air Force is demonstrating that it can deploy as many or more fifth-generation aircraft into the theater on short notice than, China, currently has in its entire inventory. Normal deployments feature 6 to 12 of the jets, Schuster said. America has around 180 F-22s. China has up to 24 fifth-generation fighters. Former Australian Air Force officer Peter Layton said, The US is actively practicing the deployments it will make if there is a major crisis or war. The US is taking China very seriously and is developing its force posture and training its forces to be able to quickly move into position. The F-22s are fifth-generation combat jets, the world's most advanced fighter aircraft, incorporating stealth technologies and connecting onboard sensor systems with off-board information systems to give their pilots a detailed view of the battle space. US F-35s are another example. Deploying a large number of F-22s for the exercise sends an immediate message to China at a time when relations are tense over Pacific flashpoints like Taiwan and the South China Sea. The Air Force for years has been practicing this dispersal concept, but rarely with so many fighters, to say nothing of so many stealth fighters. The F-22, like all low observable warplanes, requires extensive maintenance between sorties. That can be hard to do at an airstrip without permanent facilities. The presence of the C-130s in the force mix for Pacific Iron 21 is telling. It's one thing to land a bunch of F-22s on some disused runway and throw up some tents for the crews and maintainers. It's quite another to keep the planes and airmen supplied with food, fuel, parts and ammunition. To keep the austere bases combat ready in wartime, the Air Force would need to sustain a steady rhythm of resupply missions. In Pacific Iron, the forces will practice from smaller, less developed airfields like Tinian International Airport on the island in the Northern Marianas, One Pat International Airport on Guam or Northwest Field, a remote strip separate from the main runways of Anderson Air Force Base. Lessons learned in the exercise could be applied to operating from smaller airports on islands around the Western Pacific. That would increase the number of targets enemy missiles would need to destroy and give US airpower a better chance of being able to fight back. A 2019 report from the RAND Corp think tank, funded by the US military, shows how the concept is envisioned to counter growing Chinese capabilities. China's People's Liberation Army possesses a growing quantity and quality of long-range precision crews and ballistic missiles that can threaten key targets on airbases, the report says. Distributing aircraft across more locations improves survivability. An adversary must fire more missiles to achieve the same effect, it says. Demonstrating the US Air Force's agile combat capability sends a strong deterrent signal to China and reassuring one to US, allies and partners, Schuster said. China will try to follow it closely, he said. Layton, the Australian analyst, said using the F-22 presents the US Air Force with some degree of difficulty. The F-22 is one of the more difficult aircraft for this kind of deployment exercise in terms of mission and maintenance support. If you can do this with the F-22 then doing it with any other US tactical fight aircraft should be straightforward, Layton said. Wilsbach, the Pacific Air Force's commander, called Pacific Iron one of the most complex deployments we have ever organized. We can move forces and capabilities around the globe at will, but it's what they do when we bring these capabilities together that matters most, the general said.